Ugly Heart by Girl. Now, this song is a really basic, easy, fun song to play, but it's got some nice, cool twists. Capo at fret number two. And um, some nice use of the pinky as well. But let's start from the beginning. Please make sure you have a copy of the PDF. Please make sure you've got a capo at fret number two as well. And let's first see what the chords look like. The trick with this song well, the, is basically to have fingers three and four, your ring finger and pinky, on the bottom two strings in the third fret. And they stay there for almost, almost the entire song. There's a uh, small place where they lift up the pinky. But you're starting with fingers three and four, like we said, don't move them at all further notice. And then for the opening G chord, finger one comes onto the fifth string, second fret, middle finger to the top sixth string. And it should sound something like this. I'll show you the strumming shortly. Now, after the G, you're going to go to C add nine, which is really a nice, easy change. You simply bring fingers one and two down by one string. So G, C add 9. Now the trick of here is not to let the top 6th string ring. So what I do is my thumb that is busy bouncing over there, the thumb actually touches that string. So my thumb mutes and prevents this top string from ringing. And I've got my C add 9. So the thumb is muting the top string nicely. From there, E minus 7. Again, notice fingers 3 and 4, ring and pinky haven't moved. E minor 7, 1 and 2, both in the 2nd fret after the capo. String 5, string 4, E minor 7. And then for the last bar, you're going to go to D sus 4, which has still got fingers 3 and 4. Finger 1's on the 3rd string, middle finger right at the bottom on the 1st string, 3rd and 1st. And halfway through this bar, you're going to eventually release the pinky. So your D is going to go. And the trick is for that, try not to strum the top two strings. Okay, so slow motion, G, C add 9, E minor 7, D2, D sus to the D chord. Okay, now let me show you the strumming pattern for this. You're welcome to use a pick your strum. But I prefer to actually use my fingers for very fast strumming patterns. This is an opinion and preference, it's not an absolute. So if you want to use a pick, it's going to sound like that. If you want to use fingers, it sounds really similar. It's a slight subtle difference if you listen very carefully. But let's go on the strumming direction, which is more important, okay? We're going to start with a simple down strum. And then we're going to have four very fast strums starting with an upstroke. So super slow motion, your one down strum, and then one, two, three, four. But it needs to be quick. And even a little bit faster. And with a pick, just to break it down. Down, up, down, up, down. And at speed. Okay, now once you've got that up, down, down, make sure you've got the direction starting with an up for the group of four and you do the group of four twice that so if you add your first down stroke down up down up down up down up down you've got that try it with me one two three four and and again with the pick two three four and just before you change to the next chord you're going to have a very quick down up flick. Now I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see the changes and look for the down up flick as well. You can see the guitar left and right a little bit better now. Watch for the movement there from that G to the C add now. Like I said, very subtle, very small changes. G's on top, come down one string for C add nine. Let's do it slow motion. Two, three, four and... see quite carefully, um, I'm going to try and point with my pen over here, you can see I'm sort of touching that string 
with the bottom of my thumb to make sure that that string doesn't ring when I'm playing the C add 9. Very important technique there. Otherwise you get this. And that E string doesn't sound cool with the C add 9 chord. So try and get the thumb. If you just point that up to the pen, it's going to help a lot. Okay. And I'm going to take you through now all four chords. Keeping in mind we're treating the D sus 4 and the D sus 2 as one chord where technically it's actually 2. So yes, technically 5. We're just working on four bars. Okay, are you ready? One, two, three, four, and... And more of a head-on view. We're going to have something like this. This time I'm going to strum with my hand, with the fingers, not with the pick. One, two, three, four, and... much all that you need from a rhythm point of view for this song it's fast it's up tempo it's quick but it's a really good rhythm exercise when they go to the pre-chorus the E minor 7 is going to be one bar but the C add 9 and G is going to share a bar so so it's a very subtle but very important change so you're going to go through three times E minor to the C and G sharing and then at the end you're going to get E minor D sus4 to D and that's like I said the only time you lose the pinky is when you change from the D sus4 to the D but in essence the ring finger number three hasn't moved at all okay let's do the pre-chorus one two three four and <laughs> To the D as well. If you listen to the song, go to the YouTube channel, play along with the song, and you can hear when they hold the chords, when they change, you can get the tempo, and you can hear those subtle differences, the subtle changes. Now, the original should be done in ukulele. This is a guitar equivalent, it sounds really close to the original on guitar, it still sounds pretty cool. So, I hope you've enjoyed it. You've basically got all the techniques and rhythms that you need, you've got all the chords, and remember, fingers three and four don't move. And for those that want to, by the way, you can also put your third finger flat across both strings like that instead of three and four, or even your pinky. So you can do something like this or like that. Watch my third finger across both strings. But now comes the challenge, the D to the D sus. Watch my third finger doing a flick there. That might be a bit of a challenge, but you can do that if you would like to as well that's me signing off for ugly heart and uh, i hope you have a good week it's a really like a song let me know if you get any questions take care